One year ago today, May 1st, 2020, I released the most popular video on my YouTube channel to this day. A four minute long video with over 6,000 views, 100 likes, and 80 comments. And I thank you all so much for the outstanding support on that video. But here is the thing about that video. Even though that video did so well, I can do so much better. So anyways, what is Treelands? Treelands is a tycoon-like game on Roblox created by the Roblox developer team known as Fizzy Games, previously owned by the Roblox developer known as New Fizzy. Treelands is 25 Robux to play and is most similar to Lumber Tycoon 2 in the aspect of instead of buying droppers to earn money and buy upgrades for your base, like most tycoons, you go around the map collecting different items to sell and you use those items to buy certain parts of your choice to build your base. In Treeland's case, it's fruit instead of lumber. When you first play Treeland's, you start off picking apples in the apple orchard in the middle of the map. Then you sell them in the shop to the NPC of the main developer, New Fizzy. Once you gain enough money from picking apples, you can then buy a car and start your journey out into the map to find what fruits hide out there. Who knows? You may find some watermelons, or maybe some blackberries, or maybe if you're very lucky, you'll find... Wait a minute, I'm getting ahead of myself. I haven't even told you when Treelands came to be. On April 25th, 2016, Treelands was born, but it wasn't open to the public until the 16th of June, 2016. Back then, it wasn't called Treelands, it was actually called Treehouse Tycoon, and it was considered to be in the alpha stages at the time where it would cost 50 Robux to play instead of 25 Robux. Treelands looked so much different back then. The map wasn't quite at its complete stage yet, and the shop looked so much different. I would even argue to say it looked worse back then. Back in Alpha, content creators such as Big Granny would let's play the game and would show off all the new things that would come out at the time. This was Treehouse Tycoon's main game of publicity at the time, knowing the game was new and didn't gain a huge player base yet. This is probably how Treehouse Tycoon's popularity got larger over time, even if it wasn't by a large margin like Jailbreak in 2017. You know how the saying goes, any publicity is good publicity. In Big Granny's ninth episode of Treehouse Tycoons, the devs sent Big Granny an in-game gift to show their appreciation for him and probably a few other content creators for helping to support the game. What? And they get thanks again and happy treehouse building. This really shows how much the devs appreciated the publicity of these content creators and want to see more from them in the future as the game progresses. But what else was so new in Alpha? Well, when Alpha was first released, there were only a few fruits which consisted of apples, peaches, oranges, bananas, large bananas, and red, blue, green, and purple crystals. The vehicles in the game at the time were also at a much lesser variety, only including the little buggy, jeep, and pickup truck. Treehouse Tycoon definitely felt unfinished and had a long way to go, but the nice thing about it was it was finished enough for it to be fun and enjoyable. But here's the cool thing about unfinished games in development. They're going to get some pretty cool updates. And that's just what happened. Treehouse Tycoon was getting small but good updates over the course of Alpha. They wouldn't always be announced, but sometimes when you join the game, you may have seen some differences with the game. So anyways, what were added in these updates? Well, over the course of Alpha, there weren't too many big changes. Up until the end of Alpha, that is. The changes were more gradual. These changes included small design changes to the map, 
Things like mountain and map structure and the shop building changed over time. Other small changes included additions of fruit, such as blueberries, Game Pass additions, such as the Superhuman and Glider Game Pass, and small additions to the build menu. It took a while for the devs to bring Treehouse Tycoon to a nice enough point to release for beta. But once they did, it was about time to bring Treeland's beta to life. July 19th, 2016. Treeland's beta was finally released. This meant the game's price was finally dropped from 50 Robux to 25 Robux. The release of beta was a big moment for the developers. It meant they were one huge step closer to the game's release. So anyways, what was added in beta that was so different from any of the other game updates? Well, let's start with the basics. In the beta update to Treelands, Fizzy Games finally added a day, night, and a rain cycle to the game as well as more build options. Some huge map changes were added as well. Not only did they change the shop design a little again, but they hugely reworked the outer map of the game. Doing this leads to many new places to find some of the new fruits added to the game. Wait, new fruits? That's right, with the addition of the beta update to Treelands, Fizzy Games added three new fruits. Watermelons, blackberries, and durians. All the fruits added have their own special feature that separates them from every other fruit in the game at the time, which changed how many new fruits would work in the future. The first one on the list is watermelons. Watermelons only spawn every other day when it's raining. They spawn in the melon patches in the middle of the jungle. Watermelons, in my opinion, are the best fruit in the game. For the sell price of 40 silver and the fact that they spawn every other day is an absolute win. Next up is blackberries. Blackberries spawn every day in the evening. Despite the fact that you can get a good amount before night arrives and that they are 9 silver each, no one really goes to pick them. So blackberries are a great fruit to claim in almost every server around the evening time. And last but definitely not least, the durian. Back in the early beta days, the durian was basically the god fruit of Treelands, being 80 silver each, the durian rarely spawns in groups of four in many different locations around the map, making them probably rarer than the legendary purple crystal. If you find a durian, consider yourself lucky. Yes, beta was out, and the future of Treelands was looking very bright. Having just started playing the game around this time, I got hooked to the game and started playing quite a bit. So why don't we get to the many updates that were introduced over the span of beta, shall we? January 14th, 2017. The Vehicle Update. In this huge update to Treelands, Fizzy Games reworked how vehicles carry cargo. Now all the fruits have a weight aspect to them, making all the vehicles only able to hold a certain weight before they start to slow down. Along with the weight aspect, now certain slopes are super steep, making it so only certain vehicles can go up them. With all these new vehicle changes, why not add new vehicles? Treelands brought in new vehicles such as a dump truck and a few others. With the addition of these new vehicles, the devs built a new auto shop and a whole new town to go with it in the middle of the map. Along with all these vehicles came the addition of orange crystals, a new secret type of crystal only to be found by the most dedicated players that looked for them. A few other changes for this update included fruit prices increased by 20%, the addition of potatoes only to be useless except for one badge, and the addition of music to the jungle. February 14th, 2017, Valentine's Day update. On the day of love, we got a small update. Fizzy Games showed their love for the game by releasing a random update, adding new furniture with wall and ceiling furniture support, as well as releasing some Valentine's Day codes to redeem. March 30th, 2017, Farming Update. Probably the largest update to Treelands yet, this update was focused around farming. Now you can farm most fruits in the game at your treehouse to get some extra fruits that are guaranteed to be your own. Be careful with what you plant though, some fruits have worse survival rates than others. Along with the new farming capabilities, Fizzy Games added not one, nor two, but ten new fruits. 
These fruits included green apples, pears, lemons, mangoes, kumquats, plums, which all spawned scattered around the outer map. Now beating the durian, there are three new power fruits to the game. Papyrus and horned melons are two of the greats now, but no fruit can beat the all holy pineapple, selling for 425 silver! The last of these new fruits is known as a palmelo, only to be obtained by trading. Trading, you may ask? Well, in this update, the shop was increased to two stories high. On the second floor, you will find Serene. You can trade fruit to. Once you trade with them, he will give you better fruit to sell, one of those being palmelos. A few other additions include many new furniture and build items, including farming beds, the new vehicle game pass, and daily rewards that get better the more consecutive days you play. December 24th, 2017. Treeland's Christmas Update. On Christmas Eve, Fizzy Games released a special Christmas update to Treeland's. Packed with all the snow, the devs decided to add presents to the game that fans can open. Along with all the Christmas joy, Fizzy Games added a new... Fruit? That's right, for a limited time you can find candy canes around the map to sell for 20 silver. Now how about that for some updates? You would think that with this huge streak of updates, that Fizzy Games would continue to work long and hard, getting more updates out to prepare the game for its full release. But sadly, that's not wasn't the case. And this is where our story comes to an end. July 26, 2019. The lead programmer of Treelands and the owner of Fizzy Games, New Fizzy, came out with a statement on Reddit on why he suddenly stopped development on Treelands. Fizzy goes on to talk about the two main reasons he left Fizzy Games and Treelands. The first reason was the death of a very important team member. So, one of the developers, this is uh, pretty this is pretty sad guy, named like Super Superhero. It was like spelled really weird in random caps and stuff, but she passed away. She dealt with the community and stuff. But the cause of her death was never publicly announced by the developer team in order to maintain privacy. Fizzy states how this caused a senior member of the team to spiral into a deep depression which caused the atmosphere of the dev community to become very unhealthy and toxic, leading to Fizzy's leaving of the team. The second reason was because Fizzy was hitting a wall in which Treelands couldn't progress further. Fizzy described how when he started working on Treelands, he was fresh out of high school and had no formal computer science training. And as you may have guessed, this caused the code of Treelands to be pretty bad and in summary, as Fizzy puts it, unmaintainable. After he left Treelands, Fizzy went to work on Adopt Me, OH GOD! Which, as you guys probably know, is my least favorite Roblox game. And Fizzy understood there were many like me who also didn't like Adopt Me. So that's where he goes on to explain why he chose Adopt Me. Fizzy explains that he chose to focus his time on where he could make the most impact, which is on a Roblox game targeted to kids of today. While I really do not enjoy Adopt Me as a game, I respect Fizzy's decision to work on Adopt Me and wish him the best of luck with future game development. So where does this leave us now? Well, this is sadly but officially the end of Treelands. As much as we would like to believe the rumors of Fizzy working on a second Treelands, the chances of him coming back to Treelands are very low. This sadly means that we have to deal with the bugs left behind. Gliders that don't work, glitchy trucks that don't function well, and probably more. But I've come to accept it. Because while Treelands may never get new updates, at least we can still play the game and have the memories from old, simpler days of Roblox. After all, all great stories must one day come to an end.